Hey everybody, it is me, Miss Patu. Of course, um, I'm going to be answering, this video is going to be me answering how do you, how can you tell the difference between when you're infatuated with someone or if you're in love with them. And this was a question that was sent in my inbox um, through the Dating Diva um, community. And for those of you guys like Dating Diva community, what is that? It's actually a community that was created in Google um, because of the Roxy Show. Um, I Every Wednesday, Eastern Time at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I appear, do a guest appearance on the Roxy Show where um, I answer love, sex, and relationship advice on her channel and everything like that. Of course, uh, for a lot of you guys who may not know, you guys definitely want to tune in this coming Wednesday because this coming Wednesday we're having a dating relationship expert who happens to be male and he's going to be doing his segment as well. But you guys got to tune in to find out who that sexy young gentleman is. Okay, so um, for those of you guys who are interested and want to know more about that, along with the Roxy Show, and plus, along with um, submitting questions and stuff like that, remember, caring is sharing, um, leaving comments, video responses, and all that, sister loves them. So let me dig right into my um, inbox through Google. So far, I got a message from a guy named Edu, and I'm just going to pronounce it Edu. Please don't be upset because I know your name is spelled E-D-O, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm going to say Edu. From Korea. He sent a message saying, I just got some, I just got into a new relationship. I don't know if I'm really in love with her or is it just infatuation? I need some love and relationship advice because my heart is very fragile. I encountered lots of problems in the past in dealing with relationships with people and things so I just need to know am I infatuated or Question, am I really I strongly in love? suggest that in order for you to know whether you're in love or you're infatuated only the only person that can answer that is you but the only way you can get closer to that answer and finding out whether you're in love or not you have to come to two terms and and I always say that to a lot of people who's been went through a lot of heartbreaking things it happens to the best of us it happens to everybody you have to learn to accept and expect. I'm going to say that again. Accept and expect that when you put yourself out there, or if you're looking for the one, if you're dating and relationships, even through friendships and stuff, that you're going to go through your ups and downs, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. That's just part of it. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna win some and you're gonna lose some, but if you really look at the bigger picture at the end of the day, you really don't lose. There's always a lesson to be learned, especially in those moments where you, you don't get what you want. So now that that's been said, because you already come into the mind frame to expect and accept that, Hey, it can work and it cannot work. That's a good way to start. To find the difference between whether you're in love or whether you're infatuated with the person, you, you have to come to understand that when you really like somebody, you're going to be so blinded by how much you like them that it comes off as love sometimes or it comes off as infatuations and all types of things. That's just a given. Only way you can really determine the difference is through really communication, going, going through things together, spending time with this person is the only best way that you can know and find out whether you're infatuated or in love. You have conversations. You learn and structure your relationship through co communication. The basic structure, basically. Um, you communicate your deal breakers, their deal breakers. You communicate about your future, their future. You speak about um, your future and if you see them in it, you you involve that in if if they see you in their future you do the same if if they speak about their future and they involve you in it that's a good sign you also want to pay attention to their actions because remember actions definitely speak louder than words once you get words. to that point after spending time having real deep connection and conversations with this particular person and going through the ups and downs and things and seeing based on their actions you I say you give it a few weeks some people a few months and once you really know your heart will let you know you'll definitely know you know you'll definitely know if it's if you're infatuated or not but you can better tell through communicating so um hopefully I get to answer your question the way you I'm definitely if you do tune in at 11 o'clock eastern time for the Roxy show whether you miss it or not you'll see it streaming live on either my channel 
Um, you'll see it streaming live on Google, Facebook, and stuff like that. So you will find it. Um, well, I'll definitely get a male's perspective and advice on it as well. That special guest that you guys will see on the Roxy Show. So, um, like I said, um, for those of you guys, don't forget to like subscribe comment sharing because remember sharing is caring and i definitely love you guys for hanging in there supporting me and all that great stuff peace mm -hmm.